So how we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here and we've got just one question for you can a nerd survive the zombie apocalypse how we doing guys welcome yes it is day number 60 and it's four o'clock in the morning and you might notice that I'm holding a nice SMG here I've decided that we're going to change weapons because over the course of the night I was looking at this and obviously we haven't gone into strength even though we've got some nice shotguns I don't think a nerd could hold a shotgun and we've got next to no points in here so we couldn't spec into it then I looked at fortitude thinking well the machine gun has been very good for us but again no real points in here so I couldn't really start specking up here so the last thing that left us with is agility now the SMG does count as a handgun so i've put a point into pea shooter so it will deal a little bit more damage and will reload faster and we are very close to a second point which means that we can go into outlaw as well so we're going to start building our way up here obviously intellect is all done and dusted so the next thing for us really is max out our light armor and start looking at our hidden strike and I did a load of mining overnight, which is already burning down lovely in here. And we've got a load of steel for us as well, because today we've, we are going to go over to the Horde base. Because I want to make sure that we're all sorted for the Blood Moon Horde, which we've got in a couple of days' time. We've got a Tier 5 quest to go and do now, which is all the way out here. So it's miles and miles away. We might go and do Sarah's treasure map we need to go and get some more oil shell but we want to get a few things sorted so without further ado let's get over to the whore base let's get cracking right here we go then back at the whore base we've got a couple of bits we can upgrade to steel there and we've still got loads of this to actually get sorted so i think it's going to be time for the ye old time lapse again or if it seems too boring, I will just cut it like I did last time. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of time before we go off to the trader. I did bring my auger. So, let's get to it. God, I hate doing this. But we should be able to collapse these six blocks in the middle. So let's quickly get these upgraded to the steel that we need to do. So let's get this all done. Got some nitrate powder here as well on the ground, which would be very nice for us. Needing so much steel for all of this. So this is one block deep, and we know that they can jump onto this, and we know that they can climb out of these slopes here. So we need to make this at least one deeper. And to be honest, with the amount of trouble it's taken us. We probably will only go one deeper. Go on. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, what, are that, what is that leaving us now? Steel. 223. Random number. Random, random number. Okay, right. Now we are going to... The trader will be awake. Beautiful. Beautiful. There it is. So let's quickly get rid of a few of these pieces here. There we go. Controlled demolition. That's what we like. So that was a lot easier, knocking those blocks out. At least we actually managed to get some good XP and stuff for that. Because that's the one downside to knocking out your own concrete blocks you don't actually get anything of any note back again so this will be the first one that we do and there we go that's going to be too deep so they can't get their way out of there so i'm going to carry on quickly do this all the way around with this we may as well do it try not to hit my own blocks 
and then we're going to head to the trailer. Lovely jubbly. There we go. So we're too deep. Now, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think I should do with this floor? Do you think this needs a concrete base or a steel base put into it? Because that can be done. That's not going to be the biggest issue in the world to get sorted. Uh, pick up my turrets. Quickly put away a few of these bits. What did you guys think of the new series as well that we've been doing with a load of other great YouTubers as well? If you haven't checked that out yet, totally not prepared, go and check it out. That's been a real blast to record. We're going to be doing lots more recording. I'm going to keep the stone on me in the sand, actually, because I can use that. Um, put you in there. You need to go in there. And we have now got... the impact driver with us to me while well, i remember the name there but yes we have the impact driver now which is going to be very very useful for us there we go and we go we've got some hackers candies as well because we need to go and take some things apart because i put the crippler mod into the sniper rifle and what i didn't think about was the two different types of ammo now did not think about that at all. Okay, that's not good for the old inventory. I do love the way he does that. But yeah, what did you think? I totally not prepared. We've got myself, Primate, uh, Pixel Life Gaming over there, Physics, um, Laney from across the pond as well. It's um, It's been good fun. Been good fun. Make sure you go and check that out. Make sure you've subscribed if you haven't done If It, it might not have come up on your news feed. Um, if you haven't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't, please consider doing so. But let's see. The trader has restocked. As you can see, I've got a lot of money on me. Lots and lots of money on me. And have we got... Got some sugar butts here. Always useful. And we've also got the pumpkin cheesecake. Because if he's got anything worth buying, then we're going to be doing so. So let's get the old revolver in the hand you got anything in here hackers well we definitely need one of those for today jailbreakers nerd tax boy he's got the he's got the full thing there uh cat food we only cat food we need dog food i haven't made any of the awesome sauce yet which would make things the, the cheapest they you. can be joel how you doing we've got a job from you but it's only a low tier one which we did say we were going to do I haven't brought anything to sell because we've got so much money, I do not care. So let's buy some stuff. Gunpowder. It's got some red tea. We're going to be buying that because we can't make it. May as well buy the crushed sand. It's cheap. Pistol Peep Volume 7. Inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. Well, yes, please. So I didn't bother using the sugar butts or anything like that because we've only Thanks picked up here. Come again. literally one thing of any value. So let's quickly read that. Oh! Well, that's very good news. That means we've actually completed the Pistol Peep books, which are... Where? Where are my Pistol Peep books? Uh, that's Magnum Enforcer. Pistol Peep. There we go. So when we use... We can bolt craft the 9mm, which would be cheaper than how we've been making the 7.62. And at point blank range, it ignores armour. That's very, very good news. So a bit more accurate. SMGs degrade slower. There we go. 
That is very useful. Okay, then. Well, I think we've definitely picked the right tree to go into. I'm going to head over to Sarah's treasure map now, which is just here. Because we've been driving past it non-stop. So we're going to go over there, grab that treasure, and then check out a few of the traders over there and see what they've got for sale. Right, here we go then, on the water's edge. Let's get our turrets down, because don't forget, everything is now nightmare zombies, which is um, not too much fun. Not too much fun at all. So I'm going to um, put a bit of trash down here. A bit of oil. Okay. I'm going to start off with the old shovel. This is the steel shovel. I don't know how it's, we're going to do for stamina, but I'll do a couple. It seems to be taking quite a bit. It is totally modded out. But we'll do this to begin with, and then we'll get into the auger if we have any more issues. We'll sort of work on the muscles occasionally, every now and again. You know, just make sure they're in check and haven't completely, completely gone. If I could remember how to speak, there we go, the circle is getting smaller. Wow, well that took a hot minute to find that one. Right, now we need to use our lockpicks on this one and it shouldn't spawn any zombies, so that should be all good news bears for us. Talking of bears, make sure you do go out and check out that first episode of um, Totally Not Prepared. We had a bit of an incident with the old berry bears. There we go, second second time lucky. Right, let's get the Lucky Luda goggles on. And what are we getting for the treasure? 8,000 jukes, not too bad. Uh, blunderbuss ammo, <laughs> definitely do not need that. Level 4 military gloves would be nice if they were slightly higher, but hey-ho. We don't have any points into Lucky Luda anymore. Make sure I have grabbed my turrets. Right, off to the next trader. Right, here we go. Trader Joel number two. And I just have just noticed there's actually an electrical shop around the corner, oh, which Trevor. we've never actually been into. So I have deleted a load of the jobs, so we should be able to get some more. I did notice as well, actually, that I do have a load of old cash. So we're going to sell that. There we go. Check your vending machine in a minute. Rocket frag. How many have you got? Just the one. We'll be buying that. I've actually got some gold and silver here to sell as well, so we'll sell you that. Y'all come back now. Right, well, he has bugger all as well. Absolutely bugger all. Vending machine. Do you got anything useful in here? Buy the coffee. Oh. Nearly. He does have an eye candy, so definitely take that. Ready for those tier 5 quests. Now, we need to do some wrenching. We do have another trader just up there. Get off me. Oh my god. Oh. They do approach fast. Let's go and do, because we need to test out this SMG. There is a electrical shop around here. We'll take our hacker's candy. And we'll take everything apart. Where is it? I just saw it. There it is. Just over there, because we need to get springs, we need to get some electrical parts. Let's, um, there's a few cars outside as well. Let's change back over to this. Take our hacker's candy. And let's give, um... Let's give this one a go. See what we can find never even raided these cars. Crazy. What's this thing like then? Instantly encumbered. I don't know whether it's actually much faster, but... Um... Right, let's... Um... There we go. Right. What was I actually dropping? Iron pipes... Can live without some springs though, right? Oh, a level three shotgun. That's not um, 
Shotgun chainsaw, well, that's not bad. Right, let's go. We'll go in in a second and clear this place out, and then I'll speed up all the wrenching because nobody needs to sit through all of that. There we go. Right, let's check out this new device here. Beautiful. Right. Ooh. Round the post. Put you in. Those are shelves in here. Electrical parts straight away. Well, to me, that spells teamwork. Ooh, has my jacket. Well, that was nice. Radiator. Even little POIs like this, we've got radiators coming at us. Who's next? My god, this thing shoots. Why oh, he shoots so fast? He's not bad on the old damage either. Hmm. I think I might like this SMG. Well, obviously the dream will be to get a level 6 one. That's what we'll be looking out for. Okay, so there's quite a lot of electrical parts just in the loot here. So, not too bad. I have been told that these places are damn good for that. And we can wrench up all of this stuff as well. I'll do that off camera once we've been through this place. Electrical parts everywhere. I like things like that. Where you go, actually go to an electrical shop and it's full of electrical parts. That's good. We've got loads of good stuff here. The drawbridge as well. Bit of knowledge. Our guy always likes a bit of knowledge. All right. Back up. Yep. Yeah. So how many bullets? I only took eight bullets. That's not too bad. Right, we've got some of the backpack in there. Okay. Electrical box here. I have no idea. Hopefully that's just going to be full of electrical parts. Oh, it's actually got an auger. Steel tool parts. Well, we're going to scrap that for the motor tool parts because we've got a level two auger. Another one up here. Iron shovel, more motor tool parts. Any super water for us? No. Okay, well, let's make our way upstairs. I did find some food a minute ago and some water, so we'll definitely use that. That digging did nothing for us. Nothing good for us, anyway. But I'm actually going to leave that turret there, so it's... Guarding the door. What have we got going on up here? There's another box there. There were two boxes there. Flapping turkey. Oh, look at this. You need to make sure we're aiming. Right, let me get this opened up. Right, there we go. Opened up. Lucky Looter goggles on. Okay, definitely be taking that one. Bit of ammo. <laughs> now we start finding 762 everywhere. Oh, another level 2 auger. It's a shame. It's a real shame. And what have we got in the big one? <laughs> the polymer string mod. How long did we look for that? Looks for a very, very long time. So we've got a bit more to take here, and we will come back, put a bit more into the bike, come back and do that, and then I'm just going to quickly wrench up the rest of this building, and then we'll jump to the next trader.
Now I wasn't expecting that. This thing actually uses a hell of a lot of stamina, which is strange seeing it's doing all the work for us. Very, very strange. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there. Because we're not actually finding many springs. How many springs have we got? Two. So not great for the old springage, and that is what we need, and we know we can find those in cars, so let's um Lob that into there. Give ourselves a bit more space. Right, let's go off to the next trader. Just past five o'clock. So let's go and see him. Right, trader number three for the day. Trader Hugh. So we've seen two Joels and now we're seeing Hugh. Nerd hats. Get the health bar because we always need... Need a bit of health. Right. A nickel what have you got for me? Dime anymore. Do you have a job? Yes, you do. You have tier fives. Anything over to the west? Northwest. In a gig. Hospital. Okay. Yep. We have we'll definitely deal. take that. I Come do love done. the hospital. What have you got for sale? Well, what kind of lousy well, he customer has are you anyway? Even less than everybody else. So we've maxed out this secret stash now. I was really hoping, we've got things like solar panels and stuff like that in there. I was really hoping that we were going to see a bit more from these guys. Right. Uh, yep, that's the next trader. Let's go off and see if this guy's got anything for us. I think that'll probably be the last one we actually get a chance to go to today because they are pretty damn spread out. So, trader number four then. Let's check your vending machine. We're getting very full up though. Literally no room left. Red teas. Buy some of those. Gonna buy rock busters. Used one of those last night. Um, I'm actually out of room. Right. Might sell you this speaker because we can craft them anyway. Is for sale. Do you have a job? Yes, you do. You have a tier five. Which Interested one is that? Skyscraper. Green. Number two. Okay, I'm not quite sure which one that is, but we will take it nonetheless. Right, sell you that. 20 quid, get out of my way. Right, get rid of that. We don't need you. Perfect. Right, bit more room. What have you got for sale? It's annoying that the level of the auger, we still haven't found like above a level two. Very, very annoying. Um, Neil and Fred. Why not? We'll buy it. Ooh, chili dog recipe. Okay. That's worth having. We need more food books. Look at this. All the levels are really low, but he does have a level 5 rocket launcher. Okay. That's worth taking some stuff for... Well, good luck have with that. Anything else? Let's quickly read up those. We're going to take... We can make as many of those as we want. So we'll take that. We'll take the sugar butts as well. We're going to sell those two things for you. Or to you, anyway. Because we have... Oh, actually, that might be the best chainsaw we have. We'll keep the chainsaw just in case. You can have those two, though. And what was it we were buying... The really good rocket launcher. It's come down by two grand now. There we go. Beautiful. And I don't think you had anything else for us. Quickly double check. No, does not look like it at all. We've got so many shotgun shells, I might actually make... Now that's all make you're going to buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Uh, turret. SMG turret. No, we can't actually make the those. No, because we haven't specced as much into the building now. Okay, well, since we've got all the stuff in. Secret stash. He's got a shotgun one for sale. We've got so many shotgun shells, I'm going to set that up. Is that the only one you've got? Got one this side. 
may as well use what we have. No, that's all he has. I did see some gunpowder there. There we go. If there's nothing else, you best Ooh. be on your way. No, nope. there is one last thing that I did just notice then. You had cement. Always like well, making our cement. There we go. Right then, guys. This is basically, I think, pretty much where we're going to leave it. Because it's 8 o'clock. What I'm going to do is head back towards the desert and quickly dig up some more oil shell. We've got the um, rock busters there. We've got some coffees on us. Just dig dig our way we've got a little pit down there anyway ready already covered up so i can put the turrets out of the top dig a bit of oil shell to basically keep on powering our auger and our motorbike because they're the things that need it i was actually going to buy the jeep if we saw the jeep cheap today that was going to be something that i was the 4x4 that was going to be something i was going to buy just so we can carry more stuff on us but um four traders and they didn't really have much for sale at all but we have got a level five rocket launcher now and a couple more frags so things are going in the right direction for that guys that's where i'm going to leave it as always a big thumbs up on the video oh i must have great big canyon here big thumbs up on the video any comments put those down below tomorrow i will try my utmost to get ourselves to one of the tier 5 quests but we've got to be careful because we do have it'll be day 61 day 63 i believe is the next horde so yeah we should be able to do a tier 5 maybe go to the hospitals it's one of the smaller tier 5s that skyscraper i'm not sure which one it is but if it's something like dishong tower that you are not getting through in a day in fact it's a struggle to get through in two days so we will see. We'll get round to it though at some point. But things are going pretty well and I'm liking the SMG. Let me know what you think about that down below. And we'll, um, we'll carry this on in the next episode. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>